Well, hello again. This is actually the third day that I've tried to produce a video for you, which essentially was just to let you know my thoughts on the 40 to 150 Olympus zoom lens, which I got for the EM10. Uh, on the previous two occasions, in different locations, the wind noise was so obtrusive uh, I had to just bin it all. Um, so today I brought you down to Liverpool One, the main sort of mo most modern shopping area within the city. It's the Easter holidays and everywhere is extremely busy. Um, anyway, the first day of shooting with the 40 to 150, I concentrated on my local park. Welcome to Princess Park on an early spring day. Center. I'm going to make my way over to the business district to hopefully make use of the um, reach of the lens and get some uh, perspective compression sort of hopefully trying to stack buildings on top of one another or give you that impression so we'll see how it goes see the Hard Days Night Hotel. Sightseeing just going past. I'm going to try and take some detailed shots of the statues. Not sure if you can hear it but there's some sort of demonstration going on in the background. Not quite sure what they'll be complaining about but I'm sure it's a very worthy cause. And um, just up there is uh, my next shot, which I have taken before. Just sort of interesting comparison of architectural styles. And with this 40 to 150 lens, I should be able to home in on the piece that I want you to see. Uh. I moved along slightly to Exchange Flags, which uh, is in the 
financial district of town. And um, over there behind the uh, monument is the building beneath which the Western Approaches Museum is housed, which some of you may have seen in a previous video. So the financial district of Liverpool has a wonderful mix of uh, Victorian, Edwardian uh, and 20th century high-rise buildings. So hopefully I can get some interesting shots using this lens. Well, I've taken a few shots. None of these are going to be mind-blowing. May not even be keepers, to be perfectly honest with you. But the intention is to show you the kind of effects that you get with this lens. In terms of its performance, it's great. Really like it. Um, it's plastic construction. So don't be expecting the feel of a pro lens in any way, shape or form. But that shouldn't deter anybody really from investing in it. I've moved through now to St Paul's Square which is probably one of the most modern developments in the financial district. <clears throat> Law firms, financial companies, medical companies, you name it, they're all here. And uh, I've taken a couple of images which you might see. Certainly a lens like this with the reach that it provides opens up greater potential for your image making. Um, not only can you home in on reflections, um, compression of distance, all that sort of thing. It also helps if you're a bit of a closet street photographer, if you're a shy boy, because you can take cameos of people without them being aware of course. Right. Building. And now we're moving past the uh, the office workers up there who are giving you a wave. Um, heading towards uh, back towards town. And um, Over yonder is the parish church of Liverpool. And if I can cross the road without getting mown down. Let's swap you over. And across the road just over there is the Western Approaches Museum. So next stop, hopefully, is some more distant shots of contrasting buildings. One thing I discovered was a, a GoPro filming yourself. On a move like this. Is that you do get the occasional funny look. But you just kind of have to roll with it. And accept it. 
that's part and parcel of uh, producing a film. So, before my battery dies, I'll just wrap up this video, I think. Um, <clears throat> The lens itself is extremely compact, as you'd expect from any micro four-thirds lens. I don't think you can, you can actually appreciate the difference until you handle both a full frame, like 70 to 200, 75 300, and put it against <clears throat> this little lens. It's really is chalk and cheese. There's no comparison. <clears throat> <clears throat> moderate apertures it's not constant aperture through the range of course either but you know none of that matters it it does what it's required to do it gives me that extra reach and <laughs> Yeah, I'll show you all of them really, unless they are abject failures. Because that really should be part of the aim of videos like this, to show that not every image is perfect. Not every exposure is spot on, not every focus point is spot on just 90 percent <laughs> if you believe that you'll believe anything right well i'm going to wrap this video up now i think the battery is about to die i hope the audio has been acceptable if not it'll be the fifth attempt to make one for you um, and uh, in the meantime, I'm going to say look after yourselves, enjoy your photography, the equipment really doesn't matter, as long as you're enjoying it, make the most of it, stay safe, and I'll see you all as soon as I can, bye for now. Sir.